Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer. Check out Sexy Tarot. She has the answer. Leo, Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio. Are the viewers waiting to watch Sexy Tarot? Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Are the number one subscriber wondering what Sexy sees? You are here just to be in the know. The live stream is starting. Now here's Sexy Tarot. Well, hello, Taurus, and welcome to Sexy Tarot. Taurus, this will be your edition of Sexy is Snitching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when I go live. Taurus, as a friendly reminder, we all have male and female energies within us. Although you see genders in the chorus, keep in mind their energies. Taurus, as I'm progressing through the reading, if you find the energy resonates more with the other motherfucker, feel free to swap the energies. Energies are fluid. Taurus, as I'm progressing through the reading, if you find the reading does not resonate with you at all, I strongly encourage you to check out the readings for your rising Venus and moon placements. There's a link to a free natal chart on the about page of my YouTube channel. All right, Taurus, I pray you all are well. Thank you for joining me. This is intended to be the, your bonus reading. There will be an extended to this reading. You can find the link to your extended reading in the description box below and on all my social media platforms. Taurus, as a member of my channel, you have access to all extended readings and you also have access to these readings well before the public does. I'm just saying, Taurus, beginning Scorpio season on October 23rd, all my personal readings, which you can book at the website pinned below, or in my description box or on my social media platforms, my readings will be 50% off. Yes, during Scorpio season, beginning October 23rd, all my readings are 50% off. So Taurus, um, let's get into this reading. Want to crack? So you worried about money? You worried about your marriage, your commitment? You stressed out about who you sharing these assets and resources with? I mean, this is a lot of worry, Taurus. Or maybe this what your person doing? One good shuffle for the Taurus. Spirit. So this reading is from your person's perspective, okay? Spirit. What is it that Taurus's person wants to tell Taurus, please and thank you? What is it that Taurus's person wants to tell Taurus? Taurus, at the head of the matter for your person when it comes to you is the three of pentacles. So they seeing that there's a conversation they have with you that this ain't working. They don't see, they don't see how, they don't see your effort. Or this was some plans that they built that the two of you were building. What's challenging the situation for your person, Taurus, when it comes to you is the four wands. Something about this marriage, this home, the stability is being challenged here. What's going on currently for your person, Taurus, is the ten of wands. They over it. They ready to drop these burdens. This can involve a Aries Leo Sagittarius energy, but they recognize something. They recognize something. What's happening in the near future for your person, Taurus, when it comes to you is a star. Some of you dealing with Aquarius. What's happening in the near future for your person is a lot of healing, a lot of attention, um, and possibly some travel. The potential outcome, Taurus, for you and this person is the Seven of Cups. It seems like um, things are left in the air. There's some confusion here. Um, your person may have a lot of options. At the bottom of the deck, Taurus, the reason your person would like me to speak to you today is the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. They either want to slow something down or stop it. Your person is like, look, this needs to stop. That's what I'm hearing. This needs to stop. At the bottom of the deck, we have Judgment, something dealing with a Scorpio and a Five of Wands. So, you seeing, like, I'm confused at the choices they make. I'm confused at the decisions they make. You seeing, like, somebody chose the um, chose this drama or something like that with the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. So, it's like you watching...
somebody, you watching some decisions, it's causing some confusion. With the Six of Cups and Temperance, some of them would say it's just serious. So there is some um, compromise, some negotiation, something's being rejected, something's being left out due to some love from the past. Like, um, I feel like somebody's being pushed away here, somebody's standing their ground. Someone's trying to protect something from the past in relation to a Scorpio or a Sagittarius. I don't know what it is. It might have to do with a child, but um, someone's standing their ground on this. So let's get into the reading. I have some Halloween decks out here. So Taurus, at the head of the matter for your person is this conversation. It's three of pentacles. This was um, plans to build something, work together as a team. Why is the three of pentacles here for Taurus's person at the head of the matter? At the bottom of the deck, you have the witch, the earthly weaver of worlds, and you have the cauldron, synergy and healing. So, with mummy. So, this conversation that um, was about some sort of change. Somebody wanted to make something happen. The two of you were supposed to work together or are working together to bring healing, bring something into alignment, okay? But it's something you need to do, it seems like, to make these changes with the lamp and skull of stars. So I remember, it's, I'm hearing, I remember when it was so full of optimism, when it was so full of potential with eternal love. Love is love is love. And it transcends physical death. So this is an undying love here. Someone remembers when his love was undying. Okay. Okay. Well, why are they remembering it that way? Because something stopped here for your person. Well, Taurus, at the head of the matter for your person is the underworld. Okay, so you and this person could have stopped talking, but it looks like y'all communicating again. And it could be about building or collaboratively coming together. Tell me about the underworld. Tell me about the underworld at the head of the matter. Okay, you got to. At the bottom of the deck, we have the crystal ball in the unseen. So in the near future, it looks like something's working behind the scenes. Somebody's working behind the scenes. This could be you. Um, somebody, it, it's, it's some blessings coming in the near future. It's just you have to be patient. You have to wait. It's some blessings coming in the near future, but you have to wait. You have to be patient, Taurus. Or somebody needs to do this. But it's showing up on your end. So I feel like there was a conversation about why something stopped. And it was beginning with unfinished and man. Unfinished and man. So somebody's saying like, look. We stopped building towards this. We stopped working towards this. Like you didn't... Your person is seeing it like you, this male didn't finish something. They didn't tie up some loose ends. Something was left unresolved with this male that was supposed to be being built. This person plays a key role. Tell me about unfinished with this man, please and thank you. At the bottom of the deck, you have change and progress as well as sun and stars. I feel like um, somebody return here. Somebody return here to a checkered past. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody return here to a checkered past. 
Somebody wanted progress. They wanted some change. They was hopeful. They were very optimistic. It looked like it was you. Um, and they was following their dreams. So somebody left to follow their dreams, but now they're back. With meditation for clarity and water magic, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, I feel like somebody wants some answers about why somebody did something or why somebody's doing something with going with the flow. I feel like somebody is providing clarity about where they're going or what they're doing or the next moves they are planning to make. So whoever this man is that didn't do what they were supposed to do, because that's what I'm hearing, Taurus, at the head of the matter. Um, Y'all stop working. This this male stop working on something. And now they ready to try to finish this out, tie up some loose ends again with fire magic, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, and cleansing body and spirit. So... At the head of the matter for your person, this person is now like um, finding a passion. They're finding the passion to heal, detox, I'm hearing, and finish out something that was started, that was agreed upon. It was a break. But they're starting again. And in the extended, we're going to dive deep into these energies and we're going to get very specific. It seemed like this took a long time. Taurus was challenging this situation. Is this four of wands? This could be a home, a marriage, a commitment. But something dealing with stability or a foundation with winter. The sacredness of pausing. So something happened with a living together situation, a home, a marriage, or a commitment, or somebody's stability, it was paused. It was stopped. Something became frozen. With a friendship, a friendship. Somebody um, could have attracted new friends. So when some relationship or some commitment or some living together situation, some stability pause, somebody had these new friends or it was a change in the friendship. Somebody could have started spending more time with friends and letting go of toxic friends that started challenging this connection would make a move, make a move. So somebody made some move with a friendship or this friendship made some move. And it, you know, and it was after some living together situation or some marriage or stability was paused. And in the extent that we won't see what these moves were and all that. So currently, Taurus, your person is experiencing the ten of wands. This is the end of hardship, challenges. They was carrying a lot on their shoulders. This was a burden, but it's at the end. With midnight, the most magical hour of all. So this may end at midnight, these changes. But whatever this burden is, something magical is happening for your person right now. Where these burdens are being lifted. And they're doing a lot of deep thinking about this. What they're thinking about, they're thinking twice on this decision. They're doing a lot of self-reflection. They're being analytical and logical about dropping this burden, making something happen. Well, give love. Give love. So after some burdensome situation, this person is thinking about making something happen by giving love. That's what's happening currently. And in the extended, we're going to get very specific and dive deeper into these energies. So in the near future, Taurus, your person has a star. This is a lot of attention. Oops. This is a lot of attention, a lot of healing, a lot of hope, possibly some travel with skeleton. So in the near future for your person is a lot, a lot of healing, strong healing, support. Like, this person's wise with, with burnout. 
So your person is healing. They tired. They was doing a lot. They could have not been taking care of themselves. They could have lost control. This person works a lot. For this prosperity and abundance. So. In the near future, what's happening is this person, all this hard work that they put in that made them tired, built them this strong foundation in the near future. It's for, like this person won't be able to relax. I'm hearing easy street. And we're going to dive deeper into these energies in the extended. Taurus, the potential outcome for you and this person is the Seven of Cups. I'm hearing how the fuck did you do that? The Seven of Cups. With the apple, risk and reward. So somebody was lying, coming in with these illusions, being tempted. Somebody tried to tempt somebody. Somebody lying about being tempted. Somebody took a risk with an option to get some reward. But with Angel, it's like somebody, it feel like, in the outcome, there's some confusion about, is this going to work out? But the angels is divinely guiding this person. This is a praying person. They're protected. This person pays attention to signs and dreams about what's toxic. And they may not know if this is going to work out, but they going to be divinely guided with affirmation for filling the heart. For healing the heart. Affirmation for healing the heart. So, in the potential outcome is this person is being protected. They're going to be healed. This is a beautiful home. It's going to be loyalty, comforting. This could be involving a child. They can have a dog and a cat. But there's hope. So any extended, we're going to dive deeper into these energies. So after some pause, there's some, there's some startup. There's some startup. So any extended, we're going to dive deeper into these energies. I'm going to get very specific. Otadas. Otadas. Oh, Taurus, this has been your edition of Sexy is Snitching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, Taurus, if you would like to be notified the next time I go live and upload a video. Peace, Taurus, and I'll see you in the extended love.